If you're trying to build operational or distributed applications in microservices using event-driven architecture and publish subscribe patterns, you'll want to carefully consider how you define your event topic. A flat pub subtopic structure like Kafka's simply won't give you the flexibility you need. Instead, an advanced event broker like PubSub Plus that supports topic hierarchies and wildcard filtering is better suited for the job. It's the difference between trying to find and share data hidden amongst thousands of files, the classic needle in a haystack problem, or sharing that data from within an easy to navigate folder structure. Let's look at some real world examples to explain this further. Event-driven systems route data between applications and processes using event brokers based on topics. And Kafka's flat topic structure stores events across multiple partitions, which require producing and consuming applications to be very specific about which topics or partitions they are writing to or reading from. As your event-driven system grows, your initial topic structure may balloon from dozens of topics to hundreds or even thousands. This can quickly become unwieldy for architects and developers who wish to find, subscribe, and attract specific events to their application. Likewise, if you subscribe to a course-level Kafka topic, but only want to process a subset of the data or events, such as only credit card transactions from a particular bank, you must still process them all and filter out what you don't need, while still incurring associated network costs to retrieve everything, even what you didn't want. Alternatively, you could create a filtering application that parses out unwanted events and publishes to a new topic to satisfy your narrower requirement. But this generates even more topics and streams. Seems like unnecessary overhead, doesn't it? And you would need to replicate this for every bank. Solace PubSub Plus Event Broker uses smart topics, which can be dynamic, unlimited, and based on a hierarchical construct. Solace Topics can support subscriptions through wildcards for fine-grained topic filtering to your consuming application. With single and multi-level wildcards, your consuming applications can filter down from thousands of potential topics to receive only the data you require, saving on WAN bandwidth and cloud egress charges without needing a pre-filtering process. Let's look at a payment provider example. The highest level of the topic string could represent the application, in this case, payments. The second level could represent the stage of payments, for example, payment initialization. The next levels are country, version, payment channel, bank, merchant type, and merchant. Extending this example using PubSub Plus, you may have a producing application that publishes events each time a payment is made, regardless of the payment type, country, bank, or merchant. On the back end, a system of record requests a copy of every event, whereas Capital One and Bank of America Credit Microservices only receive transactions for those respective banks. The event broker does the necessary filtering based on the consuming application's specific topic subscription. The broker also guarantees order across all topics, something Kafka cannot do. Now let's consider the Kafka application designer again. Your first application is deployed, and it's been so successful that you need to scale your system of record to archive payments by country. With Kafka, You'd need to create new topics in your producer application to identify the country and point your subscribing applications to those new topics. Or you can create a filtering application to create new country-specific topics from the original topic. New topics equals more Kafka infrastructure. You will likely also need to reprogram your producing and consuming applications to use these new topics. Oh no, more Kafka topics and more changes. With PubSub Plus, you can simply narrow your topic subscription with a subscription filter by country, with no changes needed to the producing application and no new infrastructure. Now imagine another requirement to add new functionality, such as support for payments using QR codes. With PubSub Plus, you can simply create the new microservices to handle QR code payments and subscribe to topics using a filter that has QR code as the payment type. Any events with that payment type will immediately be attracted to your application. No other changes are necessary. So what have we learned? Kafka topics are restrictive and must be defined in advance, along with the associated Kafka infrastructure to support them. When developers create filtering applications to narrow down broad streams into mini streams, it generates more new topics. This creates a governance challenge in terms of managing your overall Kafka estate and tracking your data lineage, as more and more unnecessary data streams are added. The key to successful event-driven systems is to architect for unknowns the future might hold for your applications. You need a system and topic structure that is flexible to meet your future needs without having to re-engineer what you've already created. You need a system that doesn't force you to create duplicate streams just to filter the original stream for your new needs. Solace PubSub Plus.